Of freaking course. Of course we've got this. So what is up bosses, it's your boy Boss Fabbot and welcome to Escape PS1 Hagrid. Now I know that Hogwarts Legacy is the freaking Harry Potter game that is on everyone's freaking tongue at the moment. We are very much so excited about that. But hear me out. Escape PS1 Hagrid. Freaking Hogwarts Legacy has nothing on this absolute masterpiece. Let's do settings. No, that's just loaded up a thing on Firefox. No freaking thank you game. Okay, no settings needed. PS1 Hagrid is absolutely freaking perfect. He cannot be... Improved F Lumos or F4. Oh, of Avada Kedavra yourself. Fair enough. Hello? Um, I've genuinely Dumbledore. Genuinely forgot your freaking name for a second then. Jesus Christ, okay. Yeah, forget about Hogwarts Legacy. Escape PS1 Hagrid is very much so where it's freaking at. I always love playing these freaking derpy games. Can I speak to you? Oh, how are you? What's up, my dude? Dumbledore asked calmly. Pirate, you put your name in the cover of the fire. Uh, yes, the books are very much so like the films. You're going out for a walk, which I'm afraid to say is against rules. Not that you or me would care in any way, but before I can let you out, you'll need to do me a favor. Brilliant. Do I just need to wait until he says the next thing? I guess so. We need to bring me at least 15 of those green balls that Dev has put all over the place. I freaking love self-aware games like that. Yep, the devs just put 15 bottles all over the place. You need to freaking get them. I need these substances for scientific purposes. Nothing dangerous, of course. Oh, much of a Hagrid. He's patrolling the corridors tonight. Don't let him catch you, now go. I just love the fact that it's literally just specifically PS1 Hagrid. Which is, I mean, the best looking video game character in any game ever. I think we can all freaking agree. Do I E on them? Yes, I do E on the freaking vials. So F is... For friends who do stop together. Okay, yeah, F is Lumos, which is... Oh, freaking hidden one. Which is just, yeah, like a light spell. PS1 Hagrid. Why do I feel like this is genuinely going to be a bit free... Oh, God. That was actually a bit freaking scary. Okay, I guess what I was about to say is very much so correct. I can't go up the stairs. Oh, no. Um... No, PS1 Hagrid, No! Okay, I'm fine somehow. PS1 Hagrid is absolutely freaking ginormous. How does he not take up literally all of the screen? God, these these areas are going to be a bit of a freaking pain, aren't they? Going through there, they're really freaking small corridors. Can I grab you? It's freaking hard to grab them as well. That's not good. Is there going to be secrets? I don't know. Should I see? Yeah, I'm quite close. Let's just see what the freaking jump scare is. Oh. Okay, I guess I have to come back here and then give Dumbledore that and then that would open maybe? I don't know. I think this is long enough for his one for his own video. I kind of freaking hope so because I kind of like just having just occasionally these freaking random games. They're just like a funny little meme game to just have as like one video occasionally. Especially as we've just started a freaking amazing series and then suddenly the next freaking day I've just got this game popping up. Or maybe this is before, who knows? Okay, can't do anything like that. I wonder if anything actually, or anything different happens if I do all F4. Like, it, it's quite hard to, I know it's quite hard to code that in. For all F4 to specifically, Jesus, that genuinely freaking scared me. That genuinely made me freaking jump. I just didn't realise he was there. Okay, fair enough, mate. Yeah, like, it, it's relatively difficult to actually code in all F4 to do something that's not just close the game. And I mean... Some games, or most games, that do code it. Code it so it just doesn't close the game. It's like if that is something that you have to press for whatever reason, it doesn't break it. Why are you here as well, though? Oh, you just, you just spawn in there? Fair enough, I've got something really freaking weird in my mouth. You know when you just have like a tiny bit of food or something stuck in your freaking mouth? And then you could just freaking, just feel it going around your mouth. I don't know where this is, this freaking analogy is going. Is this even an analogy at this point? Literally just saying exactly what's freaking happening. Alright, 10 or 15. No? What's this? I think there's other characters you can speak to, judging by the freaking screenshots. Which I don't know why I'd freaking look at the screenshots. The hell is this? Um. Oh, I can't actually go up there. I should be able to, I was going to say, because there's freaking vials here. I guess that might be why. Oh, well, that's not a good texture. Oh no, you put the texture on, you just forgot to take off the freaking 
transparent part. You're right there, PS1 Hagrid. That's not vile. Oh no, the vials are specifically the freaking glowing yellow ones. Fair enough. I want to see if I can talk to this guy though. No, I can just walk through him. Is he? Yeah, that's Snape, yeah. Okay. Is it going to be like... Because I, I know it's Harry Potter, obviously, so it could be... There's just freaking secrets around. I don't know. Does this game look like the game that would have freaking secrets? Who knows? So I need to go back over this way. Get stuck on absolutely everything. That is a very much so requirement. The room of no requirement. Now the room of requirement. Okay, yeah, this way. I forgot that there was just 700 other ways I could go. Oh, what's this? Is that a sick route? I don't see anything there. Turning around and actually seeing PS1 Hagrid is quite... I mean, turning around and seeing anyone there that wasn't there freaking before would start with you a freaking bit, right? Oh, that's why, okay. Oh, I didn't even realise I got one freaking left, okay. I realise that this... There's one spell in the freaking game. Oh, I'm, okay, brilliant. I mean, was that my fault? I didn't realise you could literally get... I guess I probably should just keep you on, yeah, for like freaking OBS sake. Like, it's just YouTube sake as well, because they always make the video a bit freaking darker anyway. Oh, I see it there. Is that it there? Amazing. Okay. 16 of 15. I am freaking going for it. Well, let's try and get literally all of them, shall we? I know I've been this way before. A what? Have I been? I haven't been this way before. Never mind. Wait, does it randomly generate? If it randomly generates, can I just get infinite? And if there's a vial, yeah. So this is specifically going down to Snape. And then is there going to be... No, this isn't. What? This isn't going down to Snape. This is very much so different. Or is this... This is where I was. So I went down twice. And then there's not going to be any vials here, right? Yes, okay. Where is he? He sounds very freaking loud. Particularly there. Oh, there he is. Brilliant. In a nice freaking open room, mate. Not get stuck on the freaking stairs. I realize this is where I actually got caught before. There we go. Yeah, so now being here, is this where I came from? Okay, no, this is still new. More music. Fantastic. Okay, there's a lot of freaking blocked off doors, so maybe that is just purely there. So there's something there, but they don't want you going that way, maybe? I don't know. Oh god, okay, I can't go that way. Let's not stay there forever, because literally staying there for another second, I would have been freaking dead again. I don't know, so I went there. Oh, there's another file there. The hell? And is that all the places I can go here? Check behind here, there we go. I don't think I got one over here. No, I did. That was... 16 of 15, yeah. So someone up here. I wonder if anyone's actually worked out just how many substances there actually are. So you, can you actually get just all of them? A what? Why is there one just there? The hell? A bit freaking hidden though, to be fair. Okay, well let's just actually see what happens if I have all of them then. Don't really remember where I... Oh no, I do remember where I go. Yeah, it's just on the right here. I don't know what that freaking is about. Can I go up here? No, okay. Completely can't go up that way. Already got one under there. Okay, 22 of 50. Not too freaking bad, to be fair. Let's see what actually happens. If I... Oh, I can't go up there. Oh, no. Do I need to go to him? Oh, for, oh no. No! Okay, well, I'm dead because I completely freaking got stuck there. Okay, well, I guess that's good going back here. Okay, so I need to speed to Dumbledore Mark number two. The sound here near where Hagrid, or near where PS1 Hagrid spawns, which is right here. Hello, mate. I've got 22. You can have 15, I can have seven. Good. Good, you may leave now, Harry. I am Harry then, brilliant. Let's go. Can I leave? Hell yes. Please say that isn't the entire game. There's- I know there's more, yeah. I was gonna say, I know there's freaking more of the game. Oh, these freaking things. I remember these things from just the freaking games. 
But the, the games are so freaking good. I remember playing... I think it's the first and second game I probably... Or maybe... No, I think it was the third game that I played the most, actually, yeah. Because the third game had all, like, the getting the pumpkins, getting the cauldrons, the beans as well. There's hidden ones here as well, and they don't do anything. For now, anyway. I mean, maybe I'm going to get more... Does this game... Does Escape PS1 Hagrid have more freaking spells? This is roughly where... Hello, Dobby! Or the other one? Yeah, Dobby. There's World War Harry Potter Resource Room. I wonder if that was, like, the freaking villain Dobby thing. But since Dobby has left, the Malfoy's lives been tough to Dobby. Okay, yeah, I get what that says now. Dobby has to do a really nasty business to feed his family. Dobby knows very little, but he even understands what Harry Potter has asked for him, has asked for, could get him into real trouble. Because he talks like freaking Yoda, I'm struggling to actually read what he's freaking saying. Now listen up, man. I'll only keep shut if you do me a favour in return. Dobby, if he was a freaking Londoner. Bring Dobby at least seven of his medicine and Dobby will give Harry Potter sir what he desires. In it, fam. All right, I'll go and do that, mate. I will do that for you. Can I go inside here? No, I cannot. Or maybe he's going to say more. No. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's a syringe. Okay. Well, I already see four or I can already get four of them quite freaking easily. So this is very difficult. Kind of wish I made this a bit more difficult. I guess PS1 Hagrid being here. Makes it hard. Are we going to get a PS2 Hagrid? I mean, obviously, nowhere near as freaking cool looking as the amazing PS1. I feel like this Hagrid is a bit too high res. I feel like this Hagrid versus actual PS1 Hagrid looks a bit different. Okay, well, I want to get this because I know it saves. I know I keep the 5 out of 7. Yeah, perfect. And then, freaking speedrun stress because I knew that there was going to be one on the right here and there was going to be one... On the left over there, perfect. But I did not see this before. The hell is this? What's another one? Okay, well, let me go and get the other syringe then. Actually, completely forgot about that, that there's going to be more, yeah. What's another one over here? Okay. This is Escape PS1 Hagrid 100% tool assisted speedrun. I am a freaking tool, therefore, it isn't tool assisted speedrun. Or a TAS or a TAS. You've got to be quite close to me, you can't really look down that much like that's the furthest you can look down and i guess the furthest you can look up it's really nice how they went for like a ps1 style as well it's not just freaking literal hogwarts legacy graphics and then just ps1 hagrid walking around where is this though i can't go in here yet well that's another secret there i really hope that there actually are secrets in this game like this game could be really genuinely good if they keep updating this, like a freaking another plunger simulator type thing, or just like a funny game like, I guess, Baldi's and Real Basics, they kept updating that, and it was really good. Like, if they keep updating this game, genuinely, people would just keep playing it. You are too kind, Harry Potter, sir. Here are the keys to the Slytherin dungeons Harry Potter has requested. Hagrid's not here, is he? No, okay, good. We're very freaking concerned for a second, then. Is that... Okay, I guess that's it. So if there are any more syringes, which I don't think there are. I mean, I've kept the 9 out of 7. It's like he just wanted me to get the syringes and show him that I freaking got it. Don't actually give it to me, though. You know the thing I requested. Don't give it to me. I just want proof for you to actually have them. Son of a syringe over there that's moving very well. Oh, God. This game has parkour. Jesus Christ. I remember all of these. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, um. Well. Am I meant to be here? I don't know if I'm meant to be here or not. I feel like I'm probably not meant to be here. What the hell is happening? Why am I here now? Well, that was really not great. What happened? Or just I like, jumped over you and then I... Oh, I thought I literally just freaking clipped through it. I can clip through you. I can clip through most things in the game. Fantastic. Wonderful. Okay, I guess I need to get this thing that I can see flashing. Just to stop trying to freaking break the game now. I mean, I literally wasn't even trying. The game broke itself for me. Oh, that's great. This isn't freaking terrifying at all. It's actually... Oh, that is doing stuff. Me using the freaking scroll wheel because I just like to fidget all the time is actually doing stuff. Okay, my apologies. Didn't realize it was actually affecting the game. This is kind of a cool concept, actually, yeah. Because it is Harry Potter. I mean, these would just freaking 
appear out of nowhere. Is that a hidden bit or is this a hidden bit here? I don't know. I can go in here. Oh, okay. That, that makes me jump every freaking time. I just don't expect it. Like I, oh God. Makes me feel freaking uncomfortable. Why is, why does nothing have freaking collision? Am I endlessly falling now? Fantastic. I can't escape either. Are you serious? Oh, God's sake. Am I going to have to do the whole game again? At least I can listen to this freaking tune again. Hell yes. So I can go through here. And then I'm here. I don't know where this is. I mean, I'm close to wherever this freaking thing is. Video game logic, sorry. What? I mean... Yeah, that's great, but I can just walk through you and jump over you. What? I am so confused with this game. Like, what? Did they not want anything to have collision? They didn't want anything to have collision. Does the walls have collision still? No, walls don't... Nothing has collision. What's collision? Collision isn't important, right? That's freaking fine. We have Slytherin and Slytherin, the two freaking famous houses in Harry Potter. Also Slytherin and Slytherin. Yeah, there we go. There's the four. I mean, do I need to do something with this? No, I can walk through it. And then, okay, now I'm out of the map again. Brilliant. Now I have to play through the whole game again. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just going to look up what you actually freaking do here because I, I don't want to just keep running around not freaking knowing. Here we go again. My favorite freaking tune of all time. Hell yeah. So glad that I managed to now listen to that about eight different times. What? I thought I was somehow freaking ahead in the game, I was going to say. But no, I have to do the whole thing again. All right, no messing about. No trying to freaking cheat the game. Just do exactly what the game wants you to do. No shortcuts, no freaking nothing. I am genuinely getting really good at the freaking game up until this point, though, like really speedy. So I might genuinely have this as my new speedrun game, like you might have seen on my second channel, which if you don't know, I have a second channel called Boss Fat More Clips, and a third channel called Boss Fat More Music, and even a fourth channel called... I'm not going to mention the name of that yet, because I might actually use that eventually for a group channel. So I want to keep that a secret until we actually eventually do that. But yeah, on my second channel, Boss Fat More Clips, I had... Um, what, was it? what was the game called? Big Larry. I had that as my speedrun game for a bit, like when I spent two or three days just trying to get the actual achievement in the game, which is speedrunner. And that was quite fun. I might genuinely have this as my new freaking speedrun game. Like, I watch a lot of Moist Critical or Penguin Zero, you might know him as, on YouTube. He does a bunch of, like, or him and a bunch of other YouTubers and streamers and just people as well. Just people that don't do... Or I guess they do streams from the speedruns, but they got them into it from just speedrunning random freaking games. Like this. Stupid games like this. Like, I I mean, this is a stupid game, but it's still quite enjoyable. Fair enough. Do I go down here now? I do. I can just drop down. Wonderful. Let's use that skip, shall we? That's fine. Okay, I leave it. Don't freaking jump through the freaking door. Okay. And now we're here. Pretty sure I've... Oh, what? Oh, enemy to kill? Oof. Oh, Jesus. Okay, the game really didn't freaking like that. I mean, as you can see, this is leaked freaking Hogwarts Legacy gameplay freaking 240 hertz, 8K resolution, freaking ultra quality, ultra Oof. graphics quality or cinematic graphics quality right now. So my PC is very much so dying. This is kind of cool, though. I mean, obviously, it's a joke because they're all going freaking oof. I was here before, though. So I very much so did a freaking... What would it be called? Oof. What would it be called? Sequence Oof. break, that's it. I was trying to remember because there's a freaking YouTuber she says that does like a series of that sequence break and then his main series, I forget what it's actually called. Oof. Boundary break, that's it. Slytherin left one. There's still one Slytherin left. I freaking, there he is. Hello? Finish your opponent. Oh, I can't move. No, Malfoy. <coughs> okay, that was really freaking loud. I guess you're dead now. Jesus Christ, 40 minutes. 
Escape PS1 Hagrid. Being found guilty of negligent homicide. Some people can't say the word negligence. Looking at you, Felix. Being forced guilty of negligent homicide and manslaughter, Harry was forced to leave Hogwarts School of Ridgecraft and Wizardry for good. Using Mr. Weasley's Ford Angela or Anglia, he has ever since been on the run from the Ministry, living his life as an outcast. Press any key to continue. I will press W. Hell oh, yes, so we can listen to this freaking song on repeat. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That finally, after over 40 minutes of the raw footage and about five, six seconds for you guys, that ends actually quite a surprisingly cool game called Escape PS1 Hagrid. So yes, you can essentially play half of the game and get the... Or I guess you can essentially... Or you can very easily sequence break and very easily get out the freaking boundaries. So, Dev, if you don't want that to happen, which, I mean, you don't want sequence breaking. Sequence breaking just completely breaks the game, I guess. Going out of bounds, fair enough. Nothing really having collision, fair enough. You just don't want people to actually break your game and get to that area where you're meant to kill the freaking Slytherin people. I mean, fair enough, I wasn't doing the correct jumps, but I saw a shortcut, I took it, and the game just completely died, like it wasn't loading. It's weird that you specifically have to load in the blocks for then the game to say, oh, you're at this point. Why does it not just have that as a separate bit of code to say, when you get to this point, this happens, not, oh, you haven't jumped on this specific cube here, so we can't do this, or rectangle here. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to Dev. If you're watching this very cool game, I guess that's the one thing that I would actually improve. But I mean, I get that this is a joke game. I get this literally isn't Hogwarts Legacy. That was a freaking joke before. Hogwarts Legacy is going to be one trillion times better than this. I freaking hope if Hogwarts Legacy releases and it's an average game, I mean, it's releasing with freaking Gotham Knights. So at least if one of them is good, then we have a really cool game to play. And my God, that's going to be a busy freaking month on the channel. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to end... My video on a game called Escape PS1 Hagrid. I absolutely love playing just random games like this. Random stupid games like this. There he freaking is, clipping inside of the floor. That, ladies and gentlemen, for the final time is going to end my video on a game called Escape PS1 Hagrid. As usual, there'll be a link in the description if you want to have yourself. But for now, hopefully you've enjoyed. Please do like if you did. Subscribe for our brand new. I swear to boy, Boss Fabwood. Thanks for watching, of course, as always. Peace.